everybody, Steve here in Fresno, California at Fresno Memorial Gardens. It's a cemetery where I've never been before and it's not very big, but I wanted to stop by to visit one gravesite. I'm here to visit the final resting place of singer and musician Lolly Vegas. They've got a 9-11 memorial plaque, which is nice there. How many of you remember the Native American rock group Redbone? They had a couple of really big hits back in the 1970s. Remember the 1972 hit song, The Witch Queen of New Orleans? How about the 1974 song, Come and Get Your Love? That was their biggest hit. According to his Find a Great Memorial page, Vegas is laid to rest here in the Garden of Guadalupe section. And according to the GPS on his memorial page, after you enter through the front gates, you just go straight back, all the way back to this final section here, and he's buried here on the right-hand side. So let's go see if the GPS is accurate and if we can find his gravesite. Now, this is a good idea. I've never seen a headstone cleaning company in a cemetery before. I bet there'd be a huge demand for that. I could certainly use a headstone cleaning service when I come to the cemeteries. Nearly every gravesite I go to visit is covered in debris or almost impossible to read because of all of the, uh, the dirt and tarnish from the years. And I can't help but notice, but there are a lot of football fans here in this section. I noticed this one, and then I just noticed another one over here. They have this nice bench. Steve and Candy. And here's another one, another bench with some football fans and music fans. wonder if they were fans of Redbone in Lolly Vegas. I've seen football logos and insignia in lots of cemeteries, but never so many in one cemetery, and especially just in one small section. Fresno must be a big football town. I didn't realize at the time that they were not only Mexican Americans, but they were also Native Americans. Lolly Vegas and his brother were two of the founding members of Redbone back in 1969, and Lolly was the lead singer. I read that the brothers have Yaki, Shoshone, and Mexican heritage. And looking back now, I'm probably the only one who didn't realize that or know that. In 1995, Lolly had a stroke, and then in 2010, he died down in Southern California in the city of Reseda. He died on March 4, 2010, from a heart attack. He was 70 years old, and it's just so hard to, to imagine that when I think back on Redbone and the 1970s. It just doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but it was. So I wanted to stop by and remember him today to honor another famous Native American. So were you guys or are you guys fans of Redbone and Lolly Vegas? Share a memory in the comments section if you are. Now I just happened to notice that one row over from Lolly Vegas is this grave here of Daniel and Renee Leon. I just searched online but I wasn't able to find a find a grave memorial page for either of them. But I was curious to know what happened since it looks like they both died on the same day. And after a little bit more searching, I was able to find this news article that says they were both shot and killed at a birthday party in the city of Mendota. Reportedly, the suspect was arrested about a week or so later, but at that time, there was no reason given for the killings, and I wasn't able to find any additional information. Rene was 22 years old, and Daniel was only 15 years old at the time of their murders. Apparently, they were both shot point-blank in the head, so this was no accident. Stories like this are so sad and way too common these days, now that just about everyone seems to carry a gun. And since their final resting place is so close to Lolly Vegas, it makes me wonder if they were fans of Redbone. They might have been too young to have even heard of Redbone. They were definitely football fans, though, like just about everyone else in this cemetery. So that's kind of nice to see. This week, I want to give a shout out and a very big thank you to my newest Patreon supporters, Kevin Cole and Cindy Pleasant. Thank you so much, Kevin and Cindy, for your very kind donations to my channel. They mean a lot and are very appreciated. Until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.